Hey guys, we're back for season two. Jeff and Riddick, official season two, guys. Wow, we've made it. And as you can probably see, we are not tied up in that whole cash situation anymore. We are back at the spot. Um, and it feels good. But I do got to say that we're not all the way out of the water, so to speak. Um, we kind of, we, we told Cash basically that if, if he would let us go and we could shoot a new season, that we could repay him way more than he ever wanted from us. Uh, we told him we can give him $10,000 through King Ace. So I think we can do it throughout this season with your help. We need direct donations, okay? Please send money because, I mean, I don't want to speculate too much on what could happen to us if we don't come up with that money. Um, won't be good. I know it won't be good, so it's definitely something that we really need to try to do, guys. Um, so, happy late Valentine's Day, or Valentine's Day, whatever it is. It could be Valentine's Day uh, in parts of the world. It could not be Valentine's Day in some parts. But happy Valentine's Day, okay, guys? Uh, love is in the air this year. And I think um, it's a good time. It's a good reminder to uh, show everyone that you love them. So, we were going to talk about two big poppin' songs this year, the beginning of 2020. Um, there's a song by... Tone I, tone, Tones and I, um, and a song by Maroon 5. Now, uh, Maroon 5 is back, and I'm really glad to see that. Very excited. Yes, um, they've always been one of my favorites, and Adam Lambert is sounding as good as ever. So, uh, but we're not going to talk about that song first. I'm going to talk about Dance Monkey by Tones and I, because that song was a total mess, if you ask me. Um, what was she doing with the singing? Voice was, like, not good. It was not good at all, and I would even go as far as saying it might have been one of the worst voices that I've ever heard in my life. Um, it sounds like an actual monkey was singing. I think I understand where she got the title, Dance Monkey. Um, singing Monkey. Yeah, yeah, more like singing monkey, because everybody in the music video was old. There wasn't a lot of dancing going on, and it just sounded like a singing monkey really was on a microphone. So I thought that was pretty bad. Um, it was kind of like a kitten and a monkey had a voice. I said it kind of sounded like if Ariana Grande and Axl Rose had a kid. That's a good. That's a good. Um, which, that's a good way of putting it. It wouldn't be good. It wouldn't be good, and that wasn't good. So, I would refrain from making any more music, guys. That was pretty bad. Um, and, yeah, so I just was wondering the whole time why she couldn't sing like a normal person, you know? Right. It's not that hard to just sing like a normal person. But anyway, I gave it a 9 out of 10 because it's really up there. It's really just climbing the charts and killing it as a great dance song. Uh, what did you give it? I gave it a four. Out of ten? Yeah. Or five? Yeah. Out of ten. I thought it was bad. Um, the voice was just really, 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 really bad. I was trying to give it the benefit of the doubt. Maybe it could be better. I don't know how you could make it better. Like if they go back and redo it at some point. So I'm giving it a nine out of ten for when they make it better. Because I know they're not going to let this just be like that. Someone else sings it. Yeah, when somebody else sings it, um, it, it's nine out of ten. Um, so let's talk about the uh, Maroon Five comeback with Adam Lambert. Um, I thought uh, he didn't sound too much like he normally does in this song. I thought he kind of sounded like good old Ed. Like Ed Sheeran was back in the picture, guys. Ed. Um, what did you think about his voice on this song? What did you think about this song? It, his voice was fine, but the song was, like, really slow. It was a slow song. I thought it would go somewhere, but it didn't. No. No, not one point did I hear a drum beat. 
I didn't hear a guitar solo. I didn't hear nothing that would yeah. make a song a song. Adam kind of disappointed this time. He did. You let us down, us um, Marooners. And I, I'm just glad that he's back in general. But the song was really bad and empty overall. Very, yeah, empty. Empty is a good way of putting it. There's just no substance there, guys. That song was hungry. Yeah, so it's very hungry. You need to go back to making songs like, um, what was those songs that were good? Uh, Payphone. Pay, mm -hmm. You need to go back to stuff like that, guys. And the boxing one. And the boxing one, the one about boxing. That was a really good song. Okay. Um, I gave it an 8 out of 10, though. Because I'm just glad Maroon 5's here and Adam Lambert's back. And he's back harder than ever, guys. Would you give it? I'd give it a 7. Because pretty much the same reason. It, Maroon 5 is Maroon 5. You yeah. can't give them lower than a 7. Yeah, they but at least get a 7. They could have done better. It could have been better. But it's Maroon 5, so I like it. You gotta, you know, you gotta do what you gotta Everyone do. Everyone likes Maroon 5. Everybody likes Maroon 5. That's one of those things that's universal. Everybody can agree on it. Whether you're from Korea... Um, Australia, uh, Jerusalem, um, everybody likes Maroon 5, okay, I don't remember. Um, so I mean, that's what we gotta give the, it, I think if the rest of the year, uh, has anything to do with how this has started, um, it's gonna be a great year for music, okay, I'm really excited to see what 2020 has to offer. As far as music. Okay. Um, now, I wanted to talk a little bit about... Because uh, last season I was talking about the importance of water. And while I still hold true... Oh, yeah. So there you can see we get Cupid for Valentine's Day. And over here we have Adam Lambert. So... Um... I wanted so I was talking about water last season and how it's very important to drink water and all the benefits of it, and um, it's still very important to me. But I added a new health routine on, and that's what's called intermittent fasting. Okay, and I learned about it through a book, and um, basically what it is is I don't eat for twenty four whole hours, and then I eat for six hours straight. Just continuous. Okay? And I, I gotta be honest, guys. After about 30, 45 minutes into it, it gets really hard. I get full. But I just keep... I keep going uh, until the full six hours is up. And um, and then I don't go for another... I don't think that's right. It's been working. And that's what the book said. It doesn't seem very healthy. I feel like there'd be better ways to do that. Well, it makes sense because your body works on overtime for the 24 hours and you didn't eat for 24 hours, so you have to eat for six hours to make up for it. Makes perfect sense. But I, um, I've been doing that. Uh, it's going well. Um, other than some recent stomach issues that have just started popping up. But, uh, what have you been up to? But uh, since we got out of that whole cash situation, we we had to take some time to get this back up and running, guys. So we've been. I mean, after the whole, that whole kidnapping, I I was experiencing like blackouts. I couldn't remember where I was a lot. I went to the doctor, and they don't know what's wrong. It doesn't so sound good. I've been dealing with that, but I've been trying to make some money. I've been trying to uh, shovel driveways. That's what I've been doing for the past few months. Um, it hasn't really snowed. I was going to say, it's been a pretty easy winter. I mean, there really haven't been too many storms or nothing. No, but that's my job right now. I'm, I'm shoveling driveways. Okay. Not really any customers yet, but we have a little bit more time. Yeah, keep it up. It's it's only February. Um, you've, been, you've been at it for a few months. You're trying. Um, that might be it, guys. Uh, I think that pretty much, you know, we don't want to, you know, spoil too much in one episode. Um, thanks for for allowing us to do uh, season two, guys. And remember that this one is more important than ever. We need 
to raise $10,000, okay? And right now, I think we collectively have like 12. So we really need you guys to sing that in. Um, happy Valentine's Day. Uh, say I love you to everybody out there, and I love you guys. You know, I do. Um, and that'll be it. Uh, enjoy the good music that's going on. And, uh, we'll see you next time.